Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and give you guys some kind of league updates with the private league. Uh, not like a guide or anything. I just kind of explain a few things to you guys because we've got some fun content upcoming. Uh, so this is actually the Blade Vortex Chieftain I had in my guide, which is the full fire conversion character. Uh, I do still have the level 90 Hierophant, uh, the Stormbrand character, which is a lot of fun, but I kind of stripped the character because I ended up converting to crit, which crit is alternatively just always basically a better thing to do end game, especially because you get like a little bit of cold damage and then you can now shatter. But the second I converted to crit, I was like, oh, now I got to get crit multi on my amulet and I got to redo part of this and get more crit multi on here and stack crit on my rings and get assassin's mark on hit. And it just kind of became tedious and it felt like I was playing any other non or in any other crit build and that kind of like it made me just lose some value of the character but anyway super solid you want to play brands super good um can probably do most end game content in general as well if you're to just take brands and go crit basically because they're super mobile which is really important for most bosses because if you can move you're not getting hit and if you're not getting hit then you can focus on not getting hit uh also started leveling a death's oath character again um this go around this character is not on the build template but this character is basically going to be a life death's oath character. I've always played energy shield death's oath for the most part, but since the introduction of withering presence, I wanted to try a life death's oath character, mainly because getting energy shield gear and going CI on characters can just be very annoying and it feels like work to me and it doesn't feel fun. If I'm in a trade league, it's a lot easier because I don't have to worry about anything. I just go to POE trade and buy it. But since I've been playing SSF and group found for the past like six months, I would just rather go life based. It's also cool because in total we get currently 20% uh, Chaos Res between this cluster and this cluster and we get 60 from Withering Presence which puts us at 80% Chaos Res which means after the reductions of minus 60 we're 20 positive Chaos Res and then I just got to get two pieces of gear with Chaos Res and I'm done and I'm already Chaos Res capped. Unless I use the Sapples frame then I'd have like 679 so then I would need more but that's not the case. Um, so the only problem is Getting a Death's Oath is extremely complicated in Solo Cellfound, uh, and I wanted to use a Cane of Unraveling. Um, if you guys don't know Cane of Unraveling, it's that new unique, or uh, I guess it's an old unique that basically now has like 55% more chaos damage over time with Atrophy, which is 10% to non-chaos damage over time multiplier. It has that stat on it now. And I was planning on using Blight um, inside the Cane of Unraveling and then Death's Oath for basically AoE clear and it would do so much more damage than the previous Death's Oath characters due to the fact of Withering Presence, Void Beacon, and in general still being able to run, um, still being able to run everything else. Uh, the build would, just to give you guys a quick little, little sneak peek of the character, uh, if I were to click it. So this is a 121.1, so obviously it's finished, right? You know, this would be near max level. Um, you can shave some points off if you want. But it's 202% life with four jewels, enough regen to counteract Death's Oath, and still runs Tri-Curse with Temporal Chains, Enfeeble, and Despair. So it's going to be pretty solid. You're looking at about 6k life with shit gear, 7.5k uh, life with good gear, and 8k plus life with, in with insane gear, basically. Um, but, you know, that's not really the case. So the goal to acquiring these items is the following. So... Um, on this character here, Mr. Zugzug, Zug, we have been farming Belly of the Beast for about an hour. I actually farmed it with a three-man group for bonus density. No Belly cards dropped. Pretty sure Belly of the Beast is completely incorrect on the wiki. I've been asking a bunch of people as well. I haven't seen a single person who found a Death's Oath card in Belly of the Beast. Uh, I have, however, found uh, two or three uh, Beast cards for Belly of the Beast. So the only thing I can think of is basically... Um, since we're playing group found is getting back to phantasmagoria maps and trying to chain it with a couple of people with the increased drop rate and then basically just funneling me the cards since that's allowed within our group as long as it drops within there uh, you can choose who it goes to and then we can get that death south character set up uh, and then of course you know once that character set up hopefully it won't be more than like three days or so uh, i can show you guys content with that now moving on into the next step I want to do a little bit of small ranting. I hope I don't accept or upset you guys too much. Uh, with this expansion uh, in Syndicates, I personally feel that Syndicates are not well tuned for hardcore in any type of way. I feel the best way to kill Syndicates is just like most content in the game, is just instantly killing them, avoiding all ground effects, and then that's really about it. And I just don't, 
I don't really want to play that way anymore. So I am going to yet again try again uh, playing soft court. Not now. This is going to be in the near future. You know, again, not now. I'm still going to be playing hardcore here until, you know, the time comes. But I have a couple of things that I want to go ahead and show you guys. So let's go ahead and just pull up my Discord here really fast to show you boys. Okay, so on here, we were talking on stream today about something something fun and interesting to do, right? So we decided to come up with a new private league since a lot of people haven't been enjoying, well, I've personally been enjoying it, a lot of others have been enjoying it, but a lot of people are turned off from hardcore this league again, just like Delve, because of how crazy really syndicates are. So we have decided to come up with something called basically uh, raid man mode. I think we, we have, haven't really decided the name. So this would be for the first week of the league. Basically, you can only play in a group of four players minimum up to six, so four including you, for all progression content. So from leveling, to mapping, to act bosses, to shaper, to elder, to whatever it is. For the first week of the league, you must play with a group of four players. Uh, this is going to be held in softcore, and it's going to be a fresh private league, so everyone is more than welcome to come. The reason for this is because I feel that now that I've been playing hardcore for so long, the goal is to not die. So what is? how do you prevent yourself from dying? You skip things that are scary. At first, it was fun for the first couple of years, but now I don't want to skip content anymore. You know, I want to fight the imbalanced content, and if I die, it's going to suck, but I'll just have to learn to accept that you PoE is meant to kill you, right? Um, so basically... This is supposed to be a lot of fun for you guys to watch because, you know, we're going to be doing Katava progression with four to six players. Probably in my group, it's going to be six players. There's going to be deaths left and right. We're still going to keep the same rules as this league, meaning uh, everything is going to be group found. So if something drops within your group, you can trade it with people in your group. Um, and for the people who are going to say like, well, what do we do if we want to play on your server, but we don't have people to play with? Well, since it's going to be soft core, I am quite confident there are going to be much more people who want to play this league with us rather than the hardcore league because of the fact that if you die, it's okay. If you've got a shitty computer and die from a group, it's okay, right? The notice board, we're going to try to advertise the notice board and let people know like, hey man, you can get in a group for this, etc. And that's the reason why I'm making this video now potentially one to three weeks ahead of time uh, for when we actually get this started. Um, so anyway, that's going to be something kind of interesting. Uh, again, these are just like a template. We're probably going to be, you know, adding some more stuff to this. This is a rough draft. We do have some ban skills on the list. What ban skills mean is you are not allowed to use the following skills. They're gone. If you use them and I find out, I can't really do anything about it. But, you know, we're going to make everybody in global chat meme you until GGG warns us to not do that anymore. So basically at the moment, I don't know why Scorching Ray is on here. I can't confirm this is here. But Arc... Blade Vortex, Glacial Cascade, and Elemental Hit are not allowed. No ifs, ands, or buts. Doesn't matter how you play it, they are not allowed at all. Gone. Capiche. Removed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that pretty much goes as follow. I don't know what I'm going to be playing for that league. Um, haven't really decided. Probably something with good sustain, considering, you know, it's going to be fucking six-man player. Um, one other cool thing that we decided to do is I decided to add in the rule where if you encounter a syndicate, right, so you encounter a group with your group, you must fight to the death. You, you can portal and leave and stuff, but you are not allowed to skip content. The whole pur purpose of me playing softcore is not to skip content. It is to fight everything head on, whether I like it or not, because PoE, honestly, truly, is a phenomenal game. It's just, in my opinion, not balanced around hardcore, or at least I'll even, I'll even bite the bullet and say, maybe it's just me who doesn't like it anymore for hardcore. And I want to revitalize the fun I used to have in this game. Because I'm not burnt out of the game, I'm, I'm really not done with it, and I don't want to be done with it. But I think hardcore, I, I might be. I don't know, it's hard to tell, right? I've been playing this game for like five and a half years or so. So it's really difficult for me to like fully, you know, understand it. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Of course, everybody is going to be welcome. We've got a couple of people who are already interested in backing it and supporting it. Um, the people who help support this league are going to be helping support the next league as well. And I was just really curious. So 
Uh, before we get that league started, like I said, I still have this dude we're going to progress. This is Zug Zug. And then I for sure want to get that Death's Oath character going. Uh, and then a quick little plug as well. Um, when I'm done with this hardcore league, uh, I'll make an announcement on YouTube. We're going to play Warcraft 3 for a couple of days. I would say probably three to six days. We're going to do some Warcraft 3 streams. No PoE content during that time. Um, and then once I'm done with those three to six days, we're going to come right back starting fresh probably with a pretty long 12 to 18 hour live stream of day one of the private league and softcore progressing. It's going to be a ton of fun. There's going to be a ton of deaths. There's going to be a ton of noobs. There's going to be a lot of carrying. I'm probably going to get carried at times because I'm probably going to play some weird fucking shit build that's not going to work until I get something. So I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. And I hope that you guys will be there as well. But anyway, as always... Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys have been having a lot of fun in Syndicate. Sorry I haven't put out any guides for it. I've been skipping all the content in Hardcore after my pre katava death because I just can't lose a character to that mechanic right now. So anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself for the 14th time. I'll see you guys all later. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you liked the video. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Take care, everybody.